everyone. Yeah, today we are going to talk about how to track Gmail. So, uh, tracking an email is a very interesting thing and sometimes we want to know whether our receiver has already checked our email or not. So, for Gmail, this is a good news that you can track the email. And for this, Google uses uh, actually uh, Strack CRM for Gmail tracking. So, if you just... Uh, scan this QR, you can go to the strip and uh, this is only applicable for Gmail. Let's jump into it. So, let's see how can we uh, uh, do the tracking. So, first of all, what are the conditions uh, required for Gmail tracking? Uh, one is Chrome browser in desktop PC. So, we cannot use it from the mobile. And then we have to uh, install the Strack CRM for Gmail extension in Chrome. So whenever we install it and add it to Chrome, and whenever we are going to send an email, we just keep the tracking eye turned on so that the email can be back. So in summary, uh, we can say, okay, add the Strack extension to Chrome, then open the Gmail, and then we have to sign in to Strack in Gmail interface to allow the access, otherwise it cannot track. When everything is done, then we are good to go. Let's see. So here if we go settings and check the extension whether the Strack has been uh, already installed. No, Strack not installed. So what, what do we do first? Go to Strack for so this is the Strack for Gmail. Okay, Chrome. Go there. This is my e Gmail already. I, I locked into the email. Then we have the option for the Add to Chrome. If we are not uh, uh, signed into to any Gmail and we have to sign in first then add to Chrome add extension so done the strict for Gmail has been added to Chrome so here it is now we have to go to Gmail and then reload it So if it doesn't take you take you to Gmail automatically, you have to go to Gmail and then refresh it. So here the track option is going to appear. So here we have the track track here. So we haven't signed in yet. So here is the option for the sign in. So we click here. We check this account. Basically, this is these steps are for allowing the access to Strack. So basically, Strack wants to access your Google account. Okay, allow. So it's done. So Strack start trial option. So it doesn't have the uh, option for signing. So it's already signed in. So we can uh, track the email. So. Gmail, this is the alert. So what we are going to do, let's check and send an email. I'm going to send this email to this guy. And this is for check. Strike. Mail. Tracking. So here, <coughs> we have to, uh, we have to uh, like sometimes uh, look into the issue that here the tracking is on the tracking is off so if we cannot find it here for example let's go to the draft okay. so if it is uh, not viewable here there should be some uh, dot that we can uh, check whether this tracking is on or not so if we see the track here then uh, this turn icon is turned on so we send this email Email is sent. Message is sent. This is 
So you can check this I and this is uh, crossed. That means there is no view, zero view. So let's check this email from the account that I have sent to the email. Okay, let's see. This email has has been sent to this account. So it's unread. So let's read this email. The email already read. Go back to the sending account and then refresh. It's taking a little bit of time. Oh, you see? Oh, one view. So you can check the details, how many is how many times it has been seen and also how how much time ago. So that's great. Uh, thank you all for watching. So this is how we uh, track the Gmail using Strex CRM for Gmail.